Hey guys, welcome again. We're doing another scene. This is Tojo versus Goji. I just wanted to focus on perspective in this scene and just show you how you can use uh, simple shapes to block out your scene and get the effects that these mapper animators are getting just using these simple foundational skills. So this is the part of the scene I wanted to focus on. Toji going at Gojo, Gojo flicking him back. So what we can see in this clip is that it's a simple one point perspective shot from here. So I've marked it out already and you can see that it's just a one point perspective. Toji is in the center of the scene. And then I just want you to imagine Toji just as a shape. Don't think too much about his limbs, all the pretty stuff that is happening around. Just imagine him and the ground plane. And in this, which is quite interesting, the um, animator kind of makes Toji more of a triangle shape, which kind of suits his um, character, right? He's a dangerous, quite menacing character. So he's got more of a triangular shape. So as you can see, this triangle starts here. And then as we go forward, the triangle starts to come closer. So it gets a little ease in, a little ease forward, and then jumps straight at you. So you can see that's about three different pictures, three different pictures of a triangle. So a triangle that's here, eases a bit forward, and then boom, we're ahead. And then a bit closer again, another anticipation, and then boom, that triangle's right up in our face, right into the camera. There's the top edge of the triangle, it's right in our face. So for you, you can do that simply in whatever software that you're doing, get a shape, have it at a certain point, and then just put some keyframes down from beginnings from far away to the midpoint to up close to the camera. Or if you want, you can, then you can do it from far away and then you can do it up close to the camera and then put whichever midpoint you want to put in, depending on what feel you want to go with. And um, yeah, onto the next part of this scene, which was interesting, just as it carries on, <laughs> this is when Gojo repels Toji. So Toji is up close to the camera. And then as he gets pushed back, we see that the circle, so now we just go with a circle. The circle goes further back to like a midpoint. And as we keep following, because he's been hitting the, the stomach, there's a bit of a kind of uh, overlap where his head kind of goes forward because he's been pushed to the stomach. But then, you know, he flows back, lifts up his head. But then all in all, his head, his body is going backwards and becoming smaller. So as much as there is a lot of detail, when we're starting off in animation, you just kind of have to remove that and have the initial idea of placement and spacing. So as you can see, he keeps going back, becoming smaller and smaller. And then we have Gojo's hand come into the scene. So that could just be another circle. Another circle you can mark down his hand and then Gojo's hand comes into the screen, starting off very big, as we can see, then starts coming forward as Toji's head gets even smaller and starts to disappear. Gojo's hand starts to become smaller as well gets further back and then Gojo's head starts to come in as well as another circle, you know, and you can do the same for his body, mark his body out as a shape as well. And then his head starts to come in and then he overlaps the hand and then his head starts to become smaller and comes more into the center of the shot, giving us this great composition. It's actually a very good composition. The, the way the, uh, the rocks are kind of leading you towards uh, Toji in the air and then you have Gojo centered. So as you can see, it's very, very simple um, when you take away all the, the pretty stuff. So I would say like as an exercise, try and um, get some shapes, play around with them. If you have like a certain fight scene or dynamic scene in your head, start off with some shapes. Um, it's a technique that a lot of 3D animators use. They may get a sphere or a cube and then move that cube or sphere around just to get an idea of the, of the movement, especially when it comes to things like fighting, parkour, or dancing. And then they go over uh, with the character rig and you know getting all the pretty stuff in. And you can do that in 2D. Sometimes we like to jump in 2D pretty stuff, but trust me, if you get the simple stuff done, then 
everything else to look good. No different to if you're figure drawing or doing an illustration. If you can get the blocking out done well, then the rest will look good. If you get the blocking wrong and you you render it as great as you can, it may look pretty, but there'll always be something off. So yeah, keep that in mind. Um, this is a quick, short video, but enjoy, like, and subscribe. I'll leave the video files and the note files on the link that in the description below. Have a nice day and God bless.